The law of evolution is that when the society changes, when the environment changes, the organism has to change its form. I think folks uh, hope that the younger generation will do something new, and yet we're kind of not allowed to. We've been overspending by about $7 million per year and drawing down on reserves, but we just can't continue that. The United Church of Canada owns hundreds of millions of dollars worth of real estate. I'm not sure God is calling us to be landlords. We need to let go of the 50s and the 60s and the 70s. We need to let go of the 20th century. We cannot become congregationalist and lose the common voice. We also cannot sacrifice the desire for growth for our rigorous understanding of scripture. We have to find a way to grow our membership. If you've not grown up going to Sunday school or going to worship, uh, it's probably a big step to walk in and see all the formal procedures that are happening in worship on a Sunday. I also think that if we're looking at how to reach into Aboriginal communities, into uh, new immigrant communities, we need to be looking at things like electronic music, hip hop, uh, dance, dynamic worship that is visceral, that embraces the whole body, not just sitting in pews on Sundays. My hope is that we would really see this next phase in history as um, a really great opportunity and a gift, not a curse. Part of the change that's happening in the culture is the internet uh, with social media and Google and all of that's emerging through that. The room has left the building. I want to see outreach, but not just for those who are part of the church. I think the church is meant to serve people wherever they're at emotionally in their life. That the number one thing that the church needs to work on right now is faith building and then really encourage people to reclaim evangelism. We have an amazing story and it's a story of good news and of a living God that is engaging with us and in the world and we don't know how to share it. A lot of what I hear is that the traditional language uh, is too much of a block. It, it stops conversation. When we say, well, we, we can't call Jesus Lord because well, you know the history, but actually to call Jesus Lord means that capitalism's not Lord, corporations are not Lord. That, that's a powerful thing to serve only God. How can we connect these conversations and, and share our resources? I feel so excited about United Future because I think it's a chance for us to stimulate conversations that sometimes can't happen in the rhythms of week-to-week -week church life will be a chance for us to imagine church together.